made it back to Hermosa Beach for listening table 117. And now I finally have wheels, baby. This makes my life so much easier. The first person to stop by is here to ask me questions because he's a student who wants to interview me for his school newspaper. The article gives me hope that there are going to be listening tables in high schools in the future. And if you are in a high school and you want to make that happen, then write to me. And the next person to stop by is someone who stopped at my table several times. And I know he can talk for a long time. So I mentally strap in. And as I listen to him, I find myself thinking that next time, maybe I'll put a sign that says 30 minutes maximum. By the way, telling someone how long you have to talk to them is a great element to practice. Then a young man comes over who said he'd followed me on Instagram and watched my trip across the country, and he works at a nearby restaurant and would love to bring me some food and sit down to talk when he's not on his shift. I gratefully took up his offer, packed up my table, and walked over to the restaurant that I have seen so many times and never stopped into. This was the first time someone bought me a meal and I loved it. So if you've got food for me, I would be happy to join you for a meal or be taken to your favorite restaurant and maybe we could try and turn a random table into a listening table and spend some time together in Los Angeles. I haven't figured out exactly how to do this, but let me know if this sounds interesting and I would be willing to try it out. So thanks for listening and have a great listening day.